Hello! This is another free tutorial from dakinane.com. This tutorial is an overview of Wikispaces Classroom. To set up any Wikispaces wiki, you first need to sign up for Wikispaces account, as I have done here. Once logged in, I can then create my Classroom wiki. To do this, all I need to do is to go to my dashboard and click on the New Wiki option. When I select on the K12 option from the drop-down and click the Continue button, Wikispaces will by default present the classroom template which I need to complete. It is in this form that I create the URL for my class wiki. It is important that you certify that the wiki will be solely used for K12 education in order to access the full range of features on offer. Once the form is complete, I press on the Create button and my new wiki is presented to me. Along the top toolbar here, I have the following options. Members, Projects, Events, Assessment and Settings. I will deal with each of these in turn later. In the main body of the page, there are some default messages and discussions already set up which I can edit and add to if I wish. You can decide how you might want to use these. I will delete them later. To the right of the screen is the navigation bar. If I click on the Pages link, I am taken to the empty home page. From here, I can edit my home page. I'll do this later. But first, I want to get back to the news feed and add some content. The first thing I want to do is to add a new event. To create a new event, all I need to do is to click on the event link here. Creating events is a great way to keep students informed of upcoming deadlines and helps them to manage their workloads and their workflows. I can give a title to an event, select the date and time it is due, and then add a description to the event. Once I have members added to the wiki, I can even mail the event to them so that they are all individually informed of the new event. When I have completed details, I click on the Create button. You might want to explore the visibility and security options in the bottom left to see how you can make events public and collaborative for your classroom. We can now see that my newly created event has appeared in the list at the top of the newsfeed page. By clicking on the event, because I am the creator, I can edit and manage the event. Within the visibility and security options, you could elect to share that role with key members of your wiki. We can also access the new event by clicking on the days in the calendar. To add more events, it is a simple process of repeating the steps I have just shown you. I can also use the newsfeed page to start discussions so that the entire class can share their thoughts. Just like the events link, I can start a new discussion by clicking on the discussion link. Once I have titled my discussion and added the context of my discussion, I click on the post button and my new discussion appears below, with the newest at the top and all the previous discussions pushed lower down on the page. As I scroll down the page you can see that the event that I created earlier is also here. The next feature I want to show you is projects. Projects allow you to create a specific collaborative space within your classroom that you can assign specific students to collaborate on. Projects remain private from all other members of the class until it is published. An unpublished project is viewable only by you, the teacher, and the specific students working on the, together on the project. Creating a project is simple. I just give the project a name. The next stage is to then assign students to work on the project. But as I have not yet created any students on my wiki, I cannot progress any further. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to use the bulk user creator feature, then I will be able to assign students to my project. Well, that's it for this introductory Wiki Classroom tutorial. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to receive more free e-learning tutorials and also to tell your colleagues. If you have a request for a tutorial, please let me know via the comments. Until the next tutorial appears in your feeds, keep practicing!